नमस्ते जी एवरीवन इन द कॉन्फ्रेंस इट्स अ ग्रेट प्लेजर टू बी हियर एंड आई वुड लाइक टू गिव हाईलाइट ऑफ माय पेपर इन लेस देन टेन मिनट्स इफ आई कैन the presentation is on core values of sanatan vedic hindu society what are those let's explore the core values of ancient most dharma or dharm that has shaped the survival of ancient civilization many pure pious hearted people who sustained these core values had overcome many frightening scenarios by improving their inner strength that is the spiritual strength and how this spiritual strength is being transmitted from one generation to the next that is the main topic of today's presentation for thousands of years many of our forefathers kept the civilization going on and the problem is we have to maintain in a way so that we can sustain spiritual upliftment and follow the core values to the national level in fact the core values improves the self respect vigor and vitality and if we study the child development you see the newborn child still has a what sankhya has said ahankar how it is transmitted the child will remove the face or remove certain part to deny anything child wants to do his or her way and that is a stage of mindset which means i me and mine this is a kind of immature ego and it is reflected in recent elections in india where people focused only on i me and mine and that resulted into such unsurmountable loss during the participle uh, partition of india in 1947 now how to overcome this infantile state of ego which is i me and mine thinking the real question is can we change this kind of mindset yes we can the current system has taken away the spiritual heart of core sanatan values by the education and that produced by the colonial and currently few years ago by the congress in which the laws are made where hindu sanatan vedic scriptures are not allowed to be taught in schools and colleges and universities but we have to reverse it and how we can reverse it and bring back the resiliency and lifestyle change to make a peaceful coexistence as a rashtra as a rashtra now core values are the sanskars which are transmitted from one generation to the next generation and that generation 
in genetical terms, each gene has a projection on the top, it's called epigenetic mark. Epigenetic mark increases with the good scars and are transmitted from one generation to the next. So it's very important we focus on core values. In various sciences such as psychiatry, sociology, psychology, this ego of infantile nature of Sankhya philosophy can, or can be overcome. This is called as defense reactions. Defense reactions are to protect self from the feelings of being hurt, shame, anxiety, and fear. And we need to develop the superego. The superego, in other words, contain altruism, is a one of the superego. And if you have gone through various literature of Vedic and allied Grunts, one will come of various core values of which number one is called Yajya. Yajya, according to Shatpat Brahman, that is the part of the commentary on Vedas, it says Yajyohi Sreshtam Karm. That's a part in Tetriya Brahman. In other words, what is Yajya? Yajya is a parokar, means giving value to another needy person without asking is called altruism. And that altruism is a part of mature defense mechanism and it's called Yajya in Sanskrit. But the brainwashed colonial education. Many Hindu Indians use the term sacrifice. Sacrifice for Yajya is a very misleading. Sacrifice means to kill something or gaining something. Whereas Yajya has no such giving or taking things. It is for the betterment of society, giving the things of value to the needy, to the sick, to the people who are in dire need. That is benevolence. So the best word to use for Yajya in English is benevolence. Vedas teach us Tvam sutyasyam piteye sadyo prado ajayathaha. It means, O oh man, attain excellence in Vedic knowledge until you are old age. Yet, if you do not have any benevolence, parapkar or yajya in this life, then you are not going to attain serenity. Therefore, always be benevolent for the services to the society. Another meaning of Yajya is Dev Puja Sangati Karan Daneshu, that is by the Dhatu part. Here, Yajya means Dev Puja. I will talk about Yajya and Dev Puja in a minute. The second section is Sangati Karan means company of kind-hearted, altruistic, and pious people. Third section is Daneshu, means giving donations to worthy cause. Now coming back to Dev Puja. What is Dev Puja? Yajurved Mantra 17.55 explains, Samide Agnavadi, Maamhana Uktapatra Idiyo Gravitaha. 
it means it says oh human learn from scholars how yajya that is parokar that is tyag or altruism is performed for the well being of others you to undertake this grateful deed for the benefit and welfare of others with dedication and zeal this is the true spirit of worship that is upasana or the creator and ishwar or you can call god now do you, these are the things which i gave example from the vedas let's focus on gita gita third chapter shlokas 9 19 25 26 and 30 tell us selfless acts are the ways to progress and prosper that shri krishna tells to arjun now yogeshwar shri krishna asked that yajya shesh to be given to him too now what is yajya shesh yajya shesh means whatever is offered to the greater good of the society that's yajya and whatever remains even after offering that is yajya shesh offer that one to the needy to the people who are in need of service since sri krishna is a yogi who has par excelled equal to the presence of god he realized and therefore he is telling to offer to me it means offer to all sections of society so that's the emphasis of yajya that is to do nishkam act sanctified selfless service and efforts to an individual for the greater good of society now next second core value is purusharth purusharth means productive progressive perseverating acts with patience to gain positive results it's a kind of tapasya means you have to have a dedication to achieve some goals third core value is balidan now let's discuss what is bali bali means not like giving a goat or buffalo or breaking a coconut at the feet of the guest that is not the bali the real meaning of bali is you have to give something from your own which is productive and beneficial to the society to the needy to service to disabled people that is called bali means real sacrificing from your own self for the benefit of the society and that is also called as bali vaishva dev yajya means excellence in benevolence is yajya now the fourth important core value is karmatha a person has to be karmat that is diligence diligence comes from dedication devotion to dharma now what is dharm dharm is a truthful natural eternal universal laws those are applicable to all the places all the people all the time by which society is sustained and a person can live in harmony with peaceful coexistence with the natural world and among the society so therefore 
that is the fourth one now the question comes what is the benefit of all these yaj purushart balidan and diligence the benefit is improve the spiritual energy now how the spiritual energy or atma bal that is the self courage stamina how does it help us to survive the strong will power spiritual energy is needed to fulfill the duty towards the others and it has been said by swami dhyanand saraswati also that from stuti prarthana upasana that is praise prayer and communion the person becomes fearless free from pride and gets greater insight for the benefit of the society and keeps his or her emotions under control thus developing better strategy to become fearless in the face of pain or suffering is the outcome of this spiritual stamina that is the power to endure any painful circumstance spiritual strength helps speak truth and develops that powerful spiritual feeling that in any condition the person is not going to suffer but meet the challenges even in the very painful circumstances with spiritual strength in a very serene way so that way our ancestors fought thousands of invaders and saved our civilization that is the spiritual strength that is the atma bal now says patanjali the propounder of yog system also tells in astang yog is steps of 6th and 7th of the 8th astang yog that dharana and dhyan are the main stay of improving the concentration contemplation and improve the self esteem or atma bal so that is the power house everyone has in their heart but one has to practice it to bring the spiritual energy the self confidence will power or spiritual energy there are many other upanishads which also tell in katha upanishad chapter 3 shlok number 14 says our great teacher yam tells to nachiketa utishta jagrata prapya varani bodhata it means hey nachiketa arise awake empower yourself tread the difficult path learn from great experienced people on how to overcome obstacles like our ancient wise people have so these are the effects of the having the will power atma bal and self confidence now to further amplify what the vedas say vedas say कृतम मे दक्षिण हस्ते जयो मे सव्य आहित मीन्स माई राइट हैंड इज अर एक्शन ओरिएंटेड एंड द लेफ्ट हैंड एक्वायर्स ऑल द गेन्स तो दिस इज पॉसिबल ओनली वेन अ पर्सन हैज अ पुरुषार्थ हैव अ तपस्या एंड त्याग एंड बाय दैट मीन्स द पर्सन हैज टू डेवलप ए गुड सॉलिड स्पिरिचुअल स्ट्रेंथ self confidence atma bal then the serenity or the sukh in the society comes and the nation prospers and everybody enjoys that peaceful atmosphere 
Suppose you get it, then what else to do? That's why the Yajur Veda says in East Upanishad also the same that Kurvena Karmani Jiji Visheshtam Samaha means, O oh human, desirous to live 100 years, conduct selfless virtuous act without getting entangled in mundane acts. And this is the only way to live. And if you live that way, then what next? Next is Atre Brahman, chapter 3, slok 3 says, Charai Veti, Charai Veti, Charai Veti. It means to be productive citizen of humanity keeps marching progressively ahead with positive goals in life so as to enjoy the time in life physically, metaphysically, and spiritually. In essence, the Vedic Sanatan value system improves the self-confidence, spiritual stamina, atmable, and the person can face any kind of miserable situation with peace and can come ahead in life. So this is the essence of core values and we need to develop and the youth is ready to accept it. We have to change the educational system so as to go back to the Vedas and improve our thinking, planning, executing in life so that everybody, the nation prospers and all lives with serenity and peace. Thank you very much.